Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have the War Machine from the Origins Collection by Hot Toys. Die cast figure guys. As you can see, I had to put the Trinity up. Look how gorgeous they look. One thing um, immediately that I noticed, as you can see, I didn't put the batteries in on any of the other two figures, as you can see. That's why they're not lit. Immediately, I wanted to try the lights on this helmet because look at that. I was like, and they're already dying. The, the eyes are already going. The red you see because obviously it's brighter. But let me show you something real quick that I just noticed right now. They're redesigning the power buttons. Look at that. Really, really nice. Look at that. So I only did the head just because it's just quicker. I just wanted to see what the what the what the red light was gonna look like, and it's beautiful. Um, also, guys, as you can see, so it's one helmet. It doesn't come with a lot of stuff like the other two, like a lot of face plates at least, or accessories in general. Comes with this few hands. Uh, comes with the gun. This one it extends. How sick is that? Goes in, goes out. Really, really nice feature. Um, what else? The colors, as you can see, very, very plain. Very, very plain gray. Very, it's like a, it's like a metallic gray. Um, this here also, it's like a dark. Looks like it's definitely not black, but it looks like a, like a, maybe like a dark gunmetal. Gorgeous. I love you guys. Know I love gray. My entire basement's gray. The walls are gray. The floor, uh, the floor is gray. I got that laminate floor gray, as you can see. You can see right in the video, right there. So I love the color gray. So this is right on my alley. And again, it doesn't have to be super bright like the other two. Look how much color you get from the other ones. Gorgeous figures, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, look at that. Just amazing, amazing. Again, same thing. You know, nothing different from the other two. Same exact bodies. Um, obviously, they have to design them differently, uh, specifically for uh, War Machine, because obviously he's different. Um, he's got this gun here. Doesn't do anything. I thought it would extend at least, but it doesn't, and I feel like it's going to fall out. Oh, wait. It does extend. Oh, that's what I thought. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I, I thought it extended. I was like, wait a minute. So that goes down. This doesn't. Nope. So look at that. Let me show you guys the back. Really cool new way of attaching the the guns in the back, guys. Let me show you. So this comes off. This backpack comes right off. Look at that. I'm going to figure it down so it doesn't slam. So you got the two prongs that go in. And then look how you insert it. Look at this. So it's like this piece that comes out. It like slides in and out. Must have put it in real hard. There we go. So it's crazy. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. So it slides in like this. Look at this side. How crazy is that? Let me show you guys real quick. So what you do is go in this way like so. You push it in. And there it is. This is a brand new system. Never seen this before. Um, this pops out in the back. I just pushed it like three times and it kept popping out. So I'm assuming it pops out. This piece is lifting here. See it here? Something's lifting over here. Oh, there we go. I don't know why this pops off, but it pops off. I felt that it was a little... But again, beautiful. Look at the backpack. Obviously, they move around every every which way. They're like crazy swivel. Um, but yeah, he didn't come with much, guys. My favorite... My favorite... Um, War Machine figure to date... I love everything about this. Again, very, very basic. Very basic, as you can see. There's not much to it. It's nothing crazy. It's not like, oh my God. 
It comes with crazy accessories, blah, blah, blah. As you can see, the Iron Man back here. This Iron Man is a badass Iron Man. This is one of my favorite uh, Iron Mans of all time. Out of all of the ones I have, which are pretty much all of them. Uh, except for that last Mark Seven that's not out yet, that uh, that that Disney celebration piece. Obviously, I didn't get that one yet, but I have pretty much all all of the rest uh, Iron Man that Hot Toys has made over the years, at least since like Awake. And this is this is probably one of the coolest figures. And you know they have uh, really cool Iron Man figures, and I love them all. But this is a very very classy piece. As you can see, these colors are wild right here. So I love this. This is like a whole league on its own. But this War Machine is just such a badass piece. Badass, badass, badass. Um, it's such a... Because again, it's War Machine. And we know War Machine's loaded with the guns and, and the weapons and all stuff. It's such a bulky piece. And again, they're all die cast. So they're all, they're all, they all weigh the same. But because this one has more attachments on it, as you can see, it gives it a little more weight, so it feels really heavy, which is awesome. You can't go wrong with uh, with diecast uh, with the weight. And also, I think this is what the um, cyborg figure should have should have weighed. That cyborg figure is such a mind. Uh, I'm not going to say the word, but it's like it looks like it would be old metal, and it's not. It's super super light, super super. Um, uh, what do you call it? It just feels very, very, very cheap. And I said that on that video also. But anyway, uh, but yeah, guys, the articulation again, same exact thing as the other two. No issues. The arms pop, same thing. This articulates all over the place as usual. Um, elbows, very smooth. Everything, everything ratchet it. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I really, really love this piece. I'm so glad that it's finally here. They actually got released back to back really, really quickly, uh, which is awesome. Never complain about getting figures faster. Um, and again, look, look how they look all together. Just such a, a classy trio right there. I call it the Trinity just because they're such amazing pieces. Let me see. So I can, there we go. So guys... Just like every other figure. Actually, no. I think I gave them... I don't remember what I gave them. Either a 9 or a 9.5. I think I gave them a 9.5. This is a 9.5 as well. Um, again, no head sculpt for, for any of them. I saw that there's a third-party head sculpt. I saw somebody post one of those pictures. And I think Bobby... Shout out to 1-6 uh, Junkie. He sent me a picture. Also. I had seen it already, though. But he sent me a picture of that Tony Stark head that they're making for these bodies. And it looks really nice. It's like an animated look. It looks really cool. Um, I may buy one later on. Uh, nothing now. If I see it eventually, you know. But I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not somebody that's constantly buying stuff like that for the Iron Man figures. You know what I mean? Not that I don't do it. I just don't do it often. Um, but if I, you know, if I find it, I will, I will definitely get it. I've been looking for that Bruce Wayne head, uh, uh, Batfleck uh, head for the Bruce Wayne trench coat. Uh, look and I can't find it anywhere so still looking for that as well but yeah guys beautiful 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 figure all three as you can see look how quickly the batteries are dying the eyes are like dimming as we speak but the red is super bright and you see it because it's you know it's red or else it would be dimming really really uh it would be really low right now too late the eyes but beautiful guys beautiful I'm so so happy with this if you guys love War Machine you're gonna love this figure um, for whoever gets it, again, very classy. Look at the clear. Look at the plastic. Just so so nice. No complaints about this figure whatsoever. One thing though, I wish that they would have given us maybe some some like old school head sculpts. You know what I mean? Just some random like animated head sculpts for like Rhodey and and Tony by Hot Toys. That would have been really cool. Um, but obviously, you don't need them. You know, War Machine and Iron Man are you know you know them with the helmets on. You know them by the suits, not by Tony Stark's head or by uh, James Rhodes' head. So it is what it is. You don't really need it, but that would have been really nice and really cool to get a different look. Like Actually, like they did the um, the, the Iron Man Punisher figure. You know, they gave us that Asian style. Uh, it looked Asian, at least. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's his name's head? The, uh... oh my God, I can't remember the guy's name. The Punisher's name. Um, but anyway, Castle, Frank Castle. So... I um 
I like that. I like that as well. You know, I like I like that. Uh, all that stuff. So it's just, I'm just again glad that this finally, 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 finally came. Oh my god, this is so sick. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. Look at that. I can't get enough of looking looking at that. And I was gonna grab the other one too, the arm, the uh, Mark III, and I forgot again. But it's all right. I'll show it to you guys another time. But as always, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.